<laughs> what a ferocious ass kicking that was that Oklahoma displayed on senior day. Absolutely kicking the ass of West Virginia's defense early and often. In fact, this game was over by the second quarter. You might look at that score, 59-31. If you didn't see the game, you might be thinking, man, they, both teams had success. No, 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 no. This game was over before halftime. In fact, the Sooners had touchdowns on their first six possessions, got a field goal of a one-play drive before halftime. It was Austin Cypress' longest field goal ever at 51 yards. The OU offense, simply put, dominated this game, running the ball with over 200 yards in the first half, passing with well over 200 yards in the first half. In fact, running the ball, Rodney Anderson, over nine yards per carry, four, count them, four touchdowns, and the terrific job that Trey Sermon did, averaging eight yards per carry. And receiving-wise, C.D. Lamb, nearly 100 yards receiving and a touchdown, and Mark Andrews, the reliable target for Baker Mayfield, had another touchdown. In fact, averaged 15 yards per catch, and Grant Calcaterra added another touchdown for the season. The game, like I said, was over before halftime. A couple of things in this game that the Sooners, you know, have to correct upon. They got to do better against the run. West Virginia did have a good game running with, you know, Kennedy McCoy had well over 100 yards. And Justin Crawford in the game had close to 100 yards, had 97 for the matchup. So that was one thing. The other thing the Sooners have got to do a better job in being disciplined. Yeah, some of the penalties in this game were very ticky tack. Very, um, I guess you could say, splitting hairs, including that pass interference penalty that we saw in the fourth quarter. I thought that was a little bogus, even though I know the game was well over at that point. Um, the Sooners well over 100 yards in penalties. And like I said, some of them a little ticky-tacky, but others, yeah, it's self-inflicting, something that they have to work on along with the rush defense. But biggest question entering this game, of course, when was Baker Mayfield going to play? He played the second possession. In fact, that first possession – First play from scrimmage, Kyler Murray, 66 yards, setting up first and goal, and Rodney Anderson finishing the drive off a two-play opening drive. And then we saw Baker Mayfield come into the game in possession number two and picked up right where the Oklahoma offense had left off to start the contest. West Virginia playing that three-man front, a defense that really is specialized in trying to neutralize the passing attack. It didn't matter. Baker Mayfield was picking them apart as was the running attack, which could not be slowed down. It's not, it's not even the fact that West Virginia couldn't stop Oklahoma. They just flat out could not slow down Oklahoma. The Sooners scored and scored at will and made Oklahoma look like the number one offense in the universe. For the day, Baker Mayfield, only three incomplete passes, 14 out of 17, 281 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. He will win the Heisman Trophy in two weeks. He'll join Billy Bessels, Billy Sims, Steve Owens, Jason White, and Sam Bradford as Oklahoma Heisman Trophy winners. There's no question about it. It's his Heisman. And by the way, today you didn't see any of those extracurricular antics. In fact, you know, in that second quarter, we saw West Virginia and Oklahoma get involved in some skirmishes, you know, in between plays. You know, we saw a little pushing and shoving, you know, a lot of jaw jacking. And there was times in which you know who tried to stop it, who tried to be the voice of reason? That's right, number six, Baker Mayfield. He was an encourager, he was a leader, and of course, he let his play do the talking on this Saturday afternoon on Senior Day. And this was one of those games where you might have thought prior to it, hey, Oklahoma's got the Big 12 title game next week, you've got the college football playoff coming up after that. It's so easy for a team in Oklahoma's position to get caught looking ahead. Something that TCU in that first half looked like they were doing against the Baylor team that they were much better than. Remember, TCU struggled against Baylor before pulling away eventually in the second half. Well, today with Oklahoma, they weren't looking ahead to TCU. They took West Virginia seriously 100%, and that showed by the offense results that we saw in the game, and also, too, by that scoreboard in which Oklahoma just kept pulling further and further away from WVU. So give credit to Lincoln Riley, one heck of a first year for this Oklahoma head coach, filling in, of course, the big shoes of Bob Stoops. 11-1 regular season, not bad for your head coaching debut. 11-1, and now one game away from winning the Big 12 and stamping their ticket to the college football playoff. And speaking of the college football playoff, yeah, it's been crazy. Okay, We're, We are, by the way, taping this show prior to the uh, Clemson South Carolina result, okay? 
Already the number one and number two teams in the country have gone down to defeat. Alabama today and yesterday on Friday, we saw Miami bite it against Pittsburgh. So we know the Sooners are going to move up to number two in the Tuesday night's college football playoff poll, possibly number one, regardless of what happens between Clemson and South Carolina. By the way, that will not be an easy game at all. Uh, for the Tigers against the Gamecocks. Okay, could have another upset brewing. That would not shock me in the slightest. So, for the Sooners, things are looking good. But again, you got to take care of TCU for a second time. And you know, with the game being in close proximity to Fort Worth, where it's being played at Jerry's World in Arlington, there will be a lot of TCU representation there. But Oklahoma, I'm sure, will have their fair share of um, numerous fans who will make that probably two-and-a-half-hour trip from Oklahoma City metro area down to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. For the Big 12 Championship, in case you don't know, it's going to be 11.30 a.m. Oklahoma time next Saturday, December the 2nd. Sooners took care of business today, did not get caught looking ahead, and don't let that final score of 59-31 to 31 fool you. The game was not even that close. And by the way, what really sucks what happened to Drew Samia getting kicked out of the game you know, for the extracurricular activity uh, during the game. And I guess second guy gets caught sometimes. Um, this was not exactly the best officiated game I've ever seen. Sometimes these officials get too ticky-tacky. Let the guys play. Let them play. That's all I ask. All right. Enough about that. Uh, just a reminder, um, I will have three shows coming up next week. Three. Okay. Three. First one. It's going to be my 2017 team-by-team -team year in review. You might remember I did probably close to 40 college football team-by-team -team previews from June all the way to August. And at the end of all of them, I had a regular season win projection for each of them. So we're going to review that. On some of them, I did pretty well. And on others, boy, was I stupid. <laughs> so we will review that. This show, trust me, does not leave anything out. And, of course, other shows, my weekly matchup show, which will be the Big 12 title game, the rematch between the Sooners and Horned Frogs from Cowboy Stadium in Arlington. And then the third show, of course, my three picks will be the final my three pick show of the season. Coming down the wire between me and the coin, we'll pick three games, of course, conference championship games take place this upcoming week. A lot to be, I guess you could say, unscrambled as we approach the final college football playoff poll, which will be December the 3rd. Of course, there's one more poll before that, which will be on the 28th. Expect the Sooners to be no worse than number two, possibly number one. Repeating the final score, Oklahoma 59, West Virginia 31. Like I said, the game wasn't even that close. Congrats to Lincoln Riley. Congrats to the Sooners. It's on now to the Big 12 championship game. Boomer Sooner.